This is the ZDSP, a cartridge-based, open-source, variable clock, digital signal processor from TipTop Audio. Let's break that down. Cartridge-based means that it needs one of these cartridges to feed it with an algorithm that determines how it works. And variable clock means that you can actually modulate the processor speed for some pretty crazy effects. More on that in a bit. And open source means that potentially anyone can write code for the DSP and create these cartridges. In this clip, I'll be showing you how the various algorithms and DSP cartridges work on my voice, on a piano. This is the una corda from Native Instruments on a guitar. And I'll be using the uh, Native Instruments electric sunburst guitar because I don't have time for lessons right now. And on synth bass sounds from the Arturia Mini Brute 2. In terms of currently available cartridges, there are quite a few of those. I started out buying the Valhalla Shimmer and Halls of Valhalla because of how awesome the computer-based versions of those reverbs are. And then I got a few more. Um, and I have what I think is an exclusive look at an upcoming reverb cartridge by a company called Anchorage, which takes the concept of FDN reverbs and twists it around a bit. Before I give you a taste of these cards, let's go through a little basic orientation. The ZDSP is uh, stereo, it has two independent left-right inputs and outputs. There's gain control for each, and even though it's digital, there's the ability to add um, analog feedback to each of the left and right channels. You've got a mix control. This is the clean sound. And this knob gives you dry-wet control. And you've got controls, three controls for each of the algorithms. For example, this is the amount of decay. Chorus. And these are parameters just for this particular algorithm. You can select algorithms with this button. And you have CV control to change the algorithms if you like. Each algorithm has three parameters that you can control, and they're written on the display, so it's very easy to figure out what does what. And there are up to eight algorithms per card. These Valhalla reverbs can just go on forever. I'll shorten the decay a bit. A few more things I want to talk about before I go into the cards in more detail. Each of the parameters can be voltage controlled. And the craziest thing is that the clock of the DSP itself can be controlled externally. So I'll take this VCO and plug it in here. Move all the way to the wet sound so you hear just the sound of the DSP. And then here I'm at the highest frequency, but check what happens as I lower it. So it's sort of like a bit crushing effect, but different. It's actually the processor working slower. And I'll show you how in different effects that has some pretty interesting results. So running the CPU at different speeds makes it sound different. And also the modulation of this can take you to very interesting places. So let's go through the cartridges very quickly. This is the Halls of uh, Valhalla cartridge, which has eight algorithms, uh, which are progressively bigger rooms. This is what my piano sound sounds like dry. Let's add room to the mix. Start messing with the decay. Even this room can get pretty big. And cycles through some algorithms. Now, you've been hearing this cartridge throughout the intro, so I won't spend much more time on it. Just wanted you to hear the chorus. 
a little bit. The bigger the halls get, the weirder the algorithm names. I'm not sure I know how to pronounce these algorithm names nor with some of them do I want to. There are two Valhalla cards for the ZDSP. This is Halls of Valhalla, and there's a Shimmer card too. I'll show you that in a bit. Let's try the synth sound, the Mini Brute 2 sound with this uh, very nice reverb. You know, the funny thing about this is that if you listen to the synth dry, it just sounds like this. But add Gnug Gap and you've got a motion picture soundtrack career. I just want to remind you that, that this is a mono synth. This is the raw, dry sound of a filter sweep before and after. Just Ganuga Gorgeous. I'm gonna reduce the decay so that we can move on to another card. And you don't need to turn off the ZDSP to replace cartridges, just take one out and plug in the next one. This is the delay that comes with the, um, the ZDSP. Now, I'm not going to go through all the algorithms of all the cards um, I have uh, that would take way too long. I'll just give you a taste here and there. When a card loads, there are a bit of instructions. Let's try a few of these. This is the Tip Top Audio Dragonfly Delay Card. cycle through the algorithms very quickly.
could of course also apply delays to my voice. Hey. Okay, let's move on to the next cartridge, which is Grain de Foilie. Um, it's a granular synthesizer. The idea behind a granular synth is to sample a sound, then take little slices or grains of it and move them around dynamically, change their pitch, and so on. There's a one second buffer that you can sample and then right away dynamically slice and dice. One. The middle and right knobs help you control grain size and spread, and the leftmost knob initiates freeze. Two, three, four, five, six, you can also freeze chords to create a drone and then play on top of that. And you, uh, you play with the knobs to find the right uh, character of freeze. Once you find something you're happy with, it just stays frozen and you can play over it. There's another way to control these grains and that is with the CPU speed control through our oscillator. And if you remember before in the reverb algorithms that affected had a sort of a big crushing effect. Here, DSP CPU speed controls pitch. That works on voice too. Hello there, how are you? How are you? Hello there, how are you? Hello there, hello there, how are you? Hello there, how are you? 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 So plenty of options there, though some of the algorithms have their own modulations built in. And I do hope you're listening to this with headphones or on good speakers. Okay, next up, the Spring Waves cartridge. This cartridge has a couple of physical modeling algorithms, which are attempts to simulate the behavior of real-world physical objects, like strings or pipes that you blow on. The idea here is that the algorithm itself generates pitch, and it needs to be excited by something which can be noise, doesn't need to be, or sometimes needs not to be, a pitched sound, but rather a very short burst, in this case, of noise. And the length of that burst changes the character or attack of the sound, and then the algorithm itself take, takes care of the rest of the decay and the character of the ongoing sound. Now, I've, I've created a short uh, sequence of burst sounds, so that I can play around with the parameters and you can see how the character of the sound changes sometimes very dramatically based on parameter position sometimes yeah there's a sweet spot that makes it sound really nice let's try a different algorithm This started just by noise. Sometimes 
sometimes adding pitch doesn't really add anything. Because the way you want to control pitch with this algorithm is using the tuning knobs or with uh, voltage control. So there are a few more variations of this waveguide algorithm in here. And then there's another type of physical modeling, which is the spring model. And this is more similar to a uh, filter, the way a filter behaves. You've got resonance control. And cutoff control. A nice and interesting sounding filter. Next up is Valhalla Shimmer. That includes the famous reverbs from Valhalla with Shimmer, which is pitch shifting of voices as they reverberate. Let's check it out. The last two algorithms aren't shimmer algorithms at all. The first is a uh, detune algorithm. And finally, there's this funky pitch echo algorithm. Last cartridge, but not least, is the new FDN, or Feedback Delay Network cartridge from Anchorage. Now this cartridge is in beta, so specifications and features may change, but overall it sort of takes the concept of FDN, of a nice long reverb, and mangles it in a few different ways. For example, this algorithm 
adds this sort of metallic resonance or feedback. Compare that to the dry sound. The unstable algorithms speak for themselves. Try the synth sound. I want to show you this algorithm last. This combines a delay and reverb. So, that concludes my review of the ZDSP. This obviously only shows the cards that I have. Um, I don't have the card that lets you run open source algorithms. If I get that in the future, I will review it on the channel. Please hit like if you like this video. Ask any questions in the comments. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.